New York Yankees fans, what is up? Doesn't it feel good to be a Yankees fan? Like always, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Or like almost us, New York Yankees fans. Right now, the New York Yankees are Thanos. Right now, the New York Yankees are unstoppable. Right now, no team in baseball can beat the New York Yankees. I don't care what team it is. I don't care what streak they're on, how hot they are. They are not beating the New York Yankees. I am going to make a prediction, like you heard in my previous videos. The Yankees will sweep the Red Sox. But I'm going to go further than that. The New York Yankees are not going to lose a game until they win 30 games. 31 games, 32 games. They are going to stay at 10 losses for quite some time. I don't see them getting beat right now. Folks, the addition of Torres, I keep talking about this. He's just a professional. Yesterday, in the eighth inning, when the Yankees came back, when Brett Gardner hit that uh, untying game-leading triple, look at Torres at bat. They threw him four balls into the ground. He's 21. He never swung at those balls. That takes discipline. That takes a professional. And you can see in Torres that he wants to win. He wants to put the Yankees on top. He wants to... Do something to help this team win. And he sure did because he walked and would eventually give the Yankees the game leading run. So Torres, pay attention to Torres. Even though he's not hitting the ball sometimes, he's going to do the little things to help your team win. He has literally been the difference maker in changing the dynamic of the 2018 Yankees. A lot of so-called experts out there want to say, oh, we told you so. The Yankees were going to be so goddamn good. But they're lying to you because everybody knows that were that was paying attention. The Yankees started off nine and nine and were horrible. They were depending way too much on Judge Stanton and Sanchez. Now they don't really have to worry about that. They just go out there and play. This has made the Yankees one of the best teams since I'm telling you right now, since the 1998 Yankees. They are playing at that level. And if you ask me if they continue to play at that level, Matching the 1998 Yankees to the 2018 Yankees, you can't say the 2018 Yankees are a better team by far if they continue this streak that they're on. I know for a fact the Red Sox fans are hiding in the shadows, waiting for the Red Sox to beat the Yankees just one game so they could tweet me, so they could spam my videos. Haha, <laughs> I thought you said the Yankees were going to sweep the Red Sox. Well, folks, that's my opinion. That's just my gut feeling that the Yankees are going to sweep. The Boston Red Sox still, and they are. And my gut feeling tells me that the Yankees aren't going to lose a game until they reach 30 wins or more. Okay, that's how good the Yankees are right now. This is the dynamic that they have to their team. Gleyber Torres is literally having Derek Jeter on your team, batting A for knife, and then you have a whole bunch of other batters batting lower than him, and they're not as good as Gleyber Torres. You're having Gleyber Torres, an all-star caliber player, bat that high in your starting lineup. Also, Yankees fans, the way the Yankees are officially going to become Thanos is if they go out and trade for an ace. Not a pitcher like Jaime Garcia, not a pitcher like Sonny Gray. Short Sonny Gray has been great recently. I'm talking about certified ace. This is the way the Yankees are just going to literally bury every team in baseball by miles. Not by inches, not by feet, by miles. So if I were the Yankees, I'll invite Josh Brolin to attend the game. I'll put out that the Yankees are Thanos. Make that meme. Get it going, Yankees fans. If you're hearing me right now, tweet that the Yankees are Thanos right now. Let's get that meme going right now because the Yankees are literally unstoppable. This team, like I said, if they continue to play at the pace that they're playing, are easily a better team than the 1998 Yankees. I know a lot of old-timers out there are going to say, what are you talking about? How dare you compare them to the 1998 Yankees? But listen, this team is really good. I'm telling you, you have Glaber Torres batting where he's batting, an all-star caliber player that helps your team win and does the little things to help your team win, and that creates a great dynamic for the New York Yankees and any team that if Glaber Torres was on, he'll probably help them win the same way. So, Yankees fans, get the brooms ready. The Yankees will 
get off to an early lead. You see Stanton is getting hot. Just like I mentioned in my previous video calling this sweep. I mean, if you see how the Yankees are playing, it's just common sense. It's not me just talking hot air. Just pay attention to how the New York Yankees are playing right now. No team on earth can beat the New York Yankees. No baseball team. And no, it's not no situation like the Houston Astros, who I suspected last year of stealing signs. And this year, their pitchers are using some foreign substance. No, it's the team that keeps coming back. It's a team that, let's say, if you hit them early, they'll just come back. If you hit them late, they'll just come back. They're just winners. They're not a team that you suspect of cheating. They are a real team. This is not the Astros of last year. This team is really, really scary and deadly. How fitting that the Yankees in 1998 were so good and how fitting that the 2018 Yankees are good as well. I'm not saying that they are yet the 1998 Yankees, but like I said, pay attention. They continue these win streaks. They continue to just come back from games, win games. You can't start comparing them to the 1998 Yankees because we all know the Yankees have room to improve and add a starting pitcher, an ace. Also, I hear fake news about Zach Granke potentially being traded to the New York Yankees. That's fake news. That's some um, something fake a troll posted and it just made the rounds on the internet. That's fake. If you see that, that's fake. The Yankees are not going to go after Zach Granke. Like I said, if they go after anybody, It'll be a Michael Former, maybe a King Felix. And no, not Paxton, because that's a pitcher that the Mariners obviously are going to hold on to. I mean, he's like 6'4", a lefty, he pitches over 100 miles per hour. I mean, it's common sense that the Mariners are going to get rid of King Felix to set their sights on locking up Paxton. So pay attention, the Yankees are going to get a pitcher that you probably didn't hurt hear of that just came out of the blue. I don't see the Yankees getting Hamels. I don't see the Yankees getting Archer. I don't see the Yankees getting the typical names that have been thrown out there all offseason long. So like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. I know these Red Sox fans are lurking in the shadows, waiting for the Yankees to lose so they could come out and say, ha-ha, look at that, you were wrong. But listen, the Yankees are so good that I am going to put my name on the line and call games how I see them. The Yankees are going to sweep the Boston Red Sox. So like always, share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.